Admiral's Log, September 27th, 1936. Invisible ships. German witchcraft. Royal Navy made a fool. These were just a few of the British headlines after the encounter between two German light cruisers and five British battlecruisers. The enemy ships were so utterly inept that they were completely unable to spot my light cruisers as they were getting taken apart. Not only did the light cruisers succeed in their mission of sinking the enemy convoy, the Ariadne also proceeded to eliminate two battlecruisers single-handedly. Her 7.9-inch shells kept raining down on the British battlecruisers. With her semi-armor-piercing shells, she was taking down secondary armaments and causing serious damage to the enemy funnels. Her high-explosive shells, even her secondary armament, causing spalling inside of the superstructure, killing bridge crew and generally setting fires to the British battlecruisers. By this point of the war, we've almost reduced the number of Royal Navy warships by half. It's progress, but we're only halfway there. Nothing short of the complete destruction of the Royal Navy is warranted. The reasoning here is twofold. It means we get complete superiority over the North Sea and the Atlantic, as the Americans have made it clear they do not want to get involved. It also shows the Austro-Hungarians what is awaiting them. By dramatically reducing morale in the Austro-Hungarian Navy, I plan to make the war against them quick and easy. The mere thought of facing our majestic warships should be enough to cause trepidation in their sailors. I've decided to further reinforce the psychological warfare project by spreading battle logs of the British battlecruisers in Austria-Hungary. Of course, we concocted these ourselves. The logs write vividly of the horrors of being a sailor aboard one of the British battlecruisers. From describing how one moment your shipmate is standing next to you, manning his post, to the next, when he looks at you with a face full of shrapnel, blood pouring down his face just before he opens his mouth to yell. Stories about life in compartments which are flooding are also doing amazingly well. The Italians are also undermining the Austro-Hungarian morale. While the Regia Marina got almost completely decimated, they have proven themselves tenacious. They've even won a few battles. Austria-Hungary thought that this would be easy. A nice quick war before Christmas. They're now starting to realize the grave mistake that they have made. Hey guys, Stealth here, welcome back to episode 32. We continue to hammer the British. We are officially at war with the British for a while, yet this war window only shows the Italians versus the Austro-Hungarians. And credit where credit is due, the Italians are picking apart the Austro-Hungarian fleet. Considering they're outnumbered about five times, or they were outnumbered five to one, they're actually making some casualties. I suspect that the Austro-Hungarian fleet is somewhat outdated. Anyway, um, we have a battle coming up. This is a battleship battle. We have the Mecklenburg with her 16.9ers against the battleships Magnificent with 12.1s and battleship Renown, also with 12.1s. Trained crews, 23 knots. These two boys think that they're going to be intercepting the transports that the Mecklenburg is protecting. That is entirely misguided. Because, of course, I will detect them first. I will shoot them up. And if it's up to me, they'll never even know I was here. Because these German stealth ships keep beating you up. Now, before I forget to mention it, please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I'm seeing more and more of you subscribe. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I am well on the way to getting 100,000 subscribers this year. Getting that milestone after... About eight years of YouTube now. I started this channel in 2014. Actually, I'm recording this on August 14th. I might have very well started the first video then. Uploaded the first video. No, I looked it up. Correction, it was August 18th. So we're just a few days off of the, uh, the birthday, if you will, of my channel. Now, let's have a look at these... Puny British battleships. There we go. Destroyed casemates. That's interesting. 16.9s crashing right through the deck. And yeah, Mecklenburg is just completely 
out of reach for these Germans, uh, for these Brits. They don't have the firepower, they don't have the speed, they don't have a radar, their towers are outdated. This is just a recipe for disaster for the British. I don't really see a way that they're going to come back from this. And I mean, come back to port. Also, I do believe that the British are going to be trying to sink my transports, which are 20 clicks out. So, good luck finding those. Now, there were some requests for me doing some more stupid stuff. Um, this is... it's a bit tricky. I mean, I can do stupid shit, like pushing the Mecklenburg in. I don't have to. Ooh, I don't have to, but it makes for better video. Um, when I do that, however... Holy, what the fuck did you do to that ship, dude? Wow. Uh, when I do that and I lose the ship, you guys are going to crucify me in the comments. So, if I don't do it, potentially the video is boring. If I do do it, I potentially lose a battleship or take much more damage than I strictly should have. So, there's no winning. Uh, there is definitely winning for Mecklenburg, as she is so well-versed in using her guns that she has a 100% accuracy. It's just a, a perfect chance to hit. So, I do expect results here. Although, at this angle, we're not quite pinning their armor just yet. We are firing capped ballistic HE shells and standard AP shells, which means that if this battleship is turning broadside, which it very much is, it's about to have a bit of an ink. <laughs> a bit of a bad day. Uh, yeah, that didn't hit me at all. Oh. Oh, jinxed it. I can't say shit like that because then I instantly lose a crew member. So that was fun, um, British. Fun British skirmish over there. But things are about to become more interesting. The British are sending a lot more ships. Look at that. That one hit cost me a month of repairs. Come on, snap out of it. Add crew. Still bugged. So this is going to be more interesting. What we have here is a lot of light cruisers and destroyers, which means you can pretty much expect torpedoes everywhere. As much as I would like to do some more risky maneuvers, I'm not going to do it with these battleships and this battle cruiser. That is not a good idea, because they will get sunk just by the sheer volume of torpedoes. So, as much as I would like to do some more risky things, this is not the battle to do that. This is a battle to take quite serious, considering the, well, the sheer amount of torpedoes that could be in the water. Speaking of, I still need to get my own torpedo research done, so I can ensure that my torpedoes are going to be a bit better, rather than their complete whimsical nature. Let's have this in group, and you guys just search out the enemy. We got the Kur first going 30 knots, the Wilhelm doing 33, the Koenig, oh, 27 only. Oh, right, yes, of course. Yeah, see, there we go. Um, we're shooting AP at these cruisers, which, if it pens, could be a one-shot, one-kill. If it does not, it might just ricochet. DDs, oh. Some don't ricochet. That was a main deck pen for almost 8k. That's cute. That's a D... No, that's not even a DD. That's a light cruiser eliminated. Wow. Okay, so that was fast. Who would like to try this next? Shall we go for you? Or you? Because then we got an, an almost direct line of fire from the battleships to the target. Meaning that this guy might accidentally get hurt. Accidents happen all the time. That cruiser still coming to a stop. No, our shells are flying at too steep an angle. Switch the lead ship here. And turn broadside. DDs can be perfectly positioned to harass the enemy and potentially to attract torpedoes. That way, the torpedoes wouldn't get close to the battleships, the battle cruisers, and the heavy. That would be very much in favor of having the destroyers torped. So they can dodge, they can turn, and they can detect. Flooding. Get out of here. Oh, you're done vaping, are you? 
Well, you're about to have a pretty rough time then. Secondaries on this. There's a lot of them. So it could be a while. It's also true that I have a lot of secondaries. So I see a fairly nice match up here. My accuracy is somewhat the cluster. Okay, don't completely leave the area of battle, please. Dispatch is 17 clicks out. What's your torp range? 15. Jesus. He's not messing around. Oh, speaking of messing around. You're good. You're good. Nice torps. Brisbane. No, it wasn't Brisbane. Might have been a DD. Pulled that shit. Okay, we're going to do a full turn. We're going to come back towards the battleships. Lutso is also taking quite a bit of fire. There you go, overpen. That was an overpen from the Koenig's 16 inchers. Seasoned crew. Oh, they're smoked up again. Best patch hasn't launched, neither has Brisbane. Okay, so far so good. You're an old design. Wow. This belongs in a museum. That's just two main guns. 7.6ers. A ton of small guns, especially 2.3s. So definitely not fun for destroyers. My big ships won't care though. They'll be perfectly fine. Alright, you guys have a range of 16 kilometers. That's a nice hit. Let's see if we can eliminate Brisbane together. I mean, the cruiser, not the whole city. A bit aggressive. Although it would send a message. It's not about burning the city, it's about sending a message. Yes, there we go. Overpen, pen, damage, funnel, rudder damaged, which seems to be difficult to fix. Come on. Stop. Presenting yourself as a threat to my battleships, or you'll face the wrath of said battleships. All the secondaries and primaries, please. I said all the guns. Kufurst is going a bit too fast. The rest of the ships are having some trouble keeping up. You didn't torp anybody yet, did you? Did you? No. Yes, you torped to DD. Hard over. Smoke up. Brisbane is now flooding. Another Barracuda? Didn't we sink that one? Hmm. Interesting. Hello, Brisbane. 49 million. Cramped quarters. Nice longitudinal weight. I've set a 43.9. Oh. Wait. Why is the Koenig detecting torpedoes? Here. Here, here. And... Oh, you got friendly torped. You got fucked over by a friendly for almost 8k damage. Nice. They don't even need me to kill their own ships. They just do that themselves. Excellent. Now, we got a couple of torpedoes going that way, which should not be a problem for the Koenig. I'm not even sure who they were trying to torp, actually. Uh, secondaries on this, primaries on that. Barakuta has just torpedoed the Koenig. How about we detach these and have them just do a turn? I know that that's splitting up my fleet a bit, which has some risks, because it means I will not be able to spot every single torpedo. Yet, it also means that the enemy has more different ships to target. If I keep them all bunched up, there's a very real risk that somebody is going to eat a torpedo because they're all so close together. So this is arguably a little better. Sea state? Awful. Minus 20% weather. Fast speed. Ship size. Target maneuvering. Yeah, none of these are really helpful. Your range? 10.9. Current range? More than that. Very good. 
Now, normally I would say we could push him to Koenig, because she has a pretty decent torpedo blistering. She has an okay turning circle for a battleship. Yet, this many ships? Probably not a good idea. Wait, why is the curve first detecting torpedoes? If so, then where? Curve first has a sonar array, a sonar one. It's really quite advanced, at least for my type of sonar, because I believe the Brits already have sonar two. Three! Wow. Okay. Uh, let's just pump him with HE, shall we? We're going to do a bit of a turn. My cruise and Nayad's on fire, but not badly. Are you serious? Why are you this close to my destroyers? Oh, you're that ancient museum piece. Gotcha. Can we pin that? Bow and stern, yes. The rest, no. 5.8 inches of armor plus 120 was that. Crib 2? 3. Okay. Museum piece is taking damage. Wait, 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 wait. Somebody hit a... Yeah, they hit a torpedo on my battleship. On the curve first. How dare you. How dare you. There's just a lot of them and the torpedoes are a threat. The rest of them... Kinda eh. Nice. That's not actually what we were trying to shoot, but hey, if you, that's what you're gonna hit, take it. Museum piece is slowly getting slaughtered. The nest has been destroyed. This guy does not have a whole lot of torpedoes. Saracen does. You're more of a nuisance. Go for the Saracen. König, Lutzo, status? You guys good? Yeah, they're good. Are you engaging the Barcuta? You are. Oh, and you hit him as well. Holy shit. Good shooting. At that range against a small mobile target? Well done. Birkenhead, I thought was taking a lot of damage. Yes, she is not. Yep. You did. Okay. To have these guys start meeting up again. Because, oh, good lord. Did you get in the way? You got in the way. I think the Nayat was in the way of the Barakuta relative to the position of the Koenig, so she died very, very quickly. What? Saracen's been badly crippled. Let's go for the... Oh, actually, keep shooting this, because we're going to hit the Arun because of that weird bug. Bug, feature, whatever. It's in the game. König Wilhelm is fast. She can do 44. We can go flank speed. You are the slow one. Push in a bit. Go for the Chatham. Phoebe's 20 clicks out. She's a bit far. There's the museum piece. Yeah, look at that. 354 damage taken, 53,000 damage done. And that is including the damage that the own guys did to their ships. That's a good hit on Saracen. Chatham is coming somewhat closer. 11 clicks, 20 clicks. Priority target. Curve first. Let's go. They're getting a bit far away from you. You have SAP or? No, capitalistic. How much armor does this thing have? Not a whole lot. Switch to HE. Just HE. But... Do prepare to turn. As I think we might get met by a whole spread of torpedoes. Very soon. You fire SAP? Yes. You can fire auto. Or AP, actually. Come on. Kill it. It's about to kill you. DD status? 
guys have pulled away some of the fleet and the whole formation is starting to break up. You can even still talk of a formation under these current angles. Yeah, they just tore up the heavy cruiser. Okay, detach. You're going to go there. You're going to go there. Push right into the torpedoes. We don't care about these things. Okay. That's not great. There might be a gap. At least Lutso is not a threat, but Koenig is. We're going to have to do a massive sharp turn and then squeeze through this gap. Also, I don't have a ton of ammo left on this ship. Koenig, don't overcorrect. Thank you. Perfect. You little shit, stop doing that. Kill him. Missed. Where's the curve first? Here. Okay, DDs. What? How did the Phoebe come out of the smoke? Hmm. That must have been a big hit. Yep, 7.5k. I guess the, the 16s from the Koenig finally struck their target. Yeah, we're good. Okay, let's go. Okay, who do we go for next? We got the Tigris, we got the Walton, we got Birkenhead. The secondaries on the Walton, please. Koenig push in, Lutso push in. Oh shit. Shit. DDs are getting butchered now. Who did that? Oh fuck, there's a whole group of them. Oh, that's not great. You, run, run. Don't die. I was going to say run, but I kind of doubt that that's actually what they'll be doing. Yeah, they're all chasing my DDs. How devious. How devious. Fine. Oh, this is not what I want to see. That's what I want to see. Come on. Kill it before it launches 20 torpedoes at you. Which, trust me, it will if given an opportunity. Then we got the Tigers, which is less dangerous. This is 21 inch torp. This is 19s. They're an older generation of torps. Die. Thank you. Next. Koenig, 10 clicks out. Go. You can set your own ammo now. The issue with the Lutso is that she has those guns amidships, which makes her somewhat awkward to use every once in a while. It's not an ideal ship for pushing the enemy. You're not dead? Oh, that's not very helpful. Run. Tigress sinks. That was fast. Did you do a massacre on her again? What happened to you? Yeah, you got massacred for 15,000. Okay. That'll do it. That'll quite nicely do it. Now, I'm going to get a whole lot of victory points again. I am interested to see whether this means that the British are going to demand peace again. and How long I can keep the German population at bay. Because at some point, it seems that the game just auto accepts a peace treaty. Even though I say I don't want that. Now, I know I can end the battle... Yet, if I can eliminate all these ships and lose the V-18, that is fine. That is more valuable to me. Did so get in there. Where's Koenig? Still out there. Is the Koenig even powered by diesels? Yes. Oh, there goes the 18. Yep. Oh, shit. There's two more on the flank. Little things get everywhere. Look at how many they got left. Boom. Less big of a boom. But she's about to get snowballed because she cannot run anymore. 
So that's going to get a lot worse. Gunning Wilhelm, 28k. Kerfurst, 9.8. Oh, you're one of those big guns. Yeah. Lutzo, 7.5k. But here is the real king. In more ways than one. König. With 37,000 damage done. That's a lot of damage. All right. Let's assume everybody's still trying to kill me. Which I think is a fair assumption. So I'm going to do some turns every now and then. Can we please sink this museum piece? Thank you. It's almost like just a target ship. I don't like those torpedoes. There you go. Extensive fire. Millbrook is still reloading. Boom, boom. Dead. Was that a, finally a good hit? Yeah, that was a 17.9 inch hit. Turn. König. Uh, C16 is evacuating. You're evacuating. Perfect. We lost one ship. Uh, they lost everything else. Only operating about eight kilometers away from these destroyers and playing a fairly dangerous game. So I hope that this will satisfy your curiosity into more dangerous play styles. You are about to flood. Done. Next. Millbrook. Millbrook has torps. Millbrook just launched her torps, most likely at Kerr first. Yes, she did. Um, break up. Turn. Maximum over. After this, it should get a little easier to start taking... Ooh. <laughs> to start taking the kills. Because they are running light cruisers now. Oh, boy. Oof. That was close. They're starting to run light cruisers now, which means easier to hit. Don't be like that. Fuck off with the torpedoes. Good lord, man. Boom. Curve first. I need a hit. 18 inch guns. Light cruisers. Missed. Now see, this is dangerous. Because my reload's going to be the next 10 minutes. And um, this guy still has sight-mounted torpedoes. But is down. Next is Despatch. Despatch might have launched against... The no, is about to launch against the, uh, against the BC. Not great. Let's go. Status... Are you engaging the Birkenhead yet? Come on, if not, let's get to it. Turn the guns. Show me what you got. They still have sight-mounted torpedo launchers. Lots of them. Prepare to dodge. There goes the dispatch. They are definitely interested in taking a shot at my heavy cruiser. Pathfinder alive. Birkenhead did not launch. Interesting. Oh, shit. Nice bouquet sent out to meet the König Wilhelm. Come on. They got almost no armor. You need to hit him once. He's 15 inches reloading 55 seconds. That's more like it. That's a lot more like it. What the hell? Didn't look like a kill there. Boom. Firing whatever we have left on the AP, which isn't much. Got 25 shells. Ah, oh, that's more like it. That's more like it. Okay, good. So Lutzo is going to kill this. The Pathfinder is down. I'm still concerned about potential torpedo spillage from Birkenhead. 
but I think we should be fine. That's not very helpful on your part. Having your torpedoes blown up on the deck. Continue. Yes. Floodings. Structural damage. Crew damage. She's gone. Okay, and now we have an enemy to the north, which I suspect is A or several DDs. Because that seems to be the icon. I mean, this guy is dead. Is it a light cruiser? Whatever, we'll let one of them live to inform them about how misguided it is to attack a cruiser division or a battleship division. Yeah, it's one DD that ran off. I'm not chasing that. I have better things to do than just chase one little destroyer. We have more important business to attend to. That's nice. Uh, I did get some crew back from the V-18. That's excellent. Now, how much did the British have left? 108 ships. So we cut them in half, near enough. They're not building anything new. Their economy, 293 billion. Mine is 273 billion. And the Austro-Hungarians are still outrageous at 386 billion. With a B. Okay, so we're going to get new torpedoes in two to three months. Um, yeah, let's continue. I'm going to see if I can get a new ship done this episode. Like a new class. I just don't know if we're going to have any... Yeah, we're going to have battles in the way, if you will. The Italian Empire warns their head of Admiralty Franco Garofalo for his excessive naval expenditure. Don't do that. No, we're going to fight to the end of the British Empire. What? British Empire. I'm losing transports? Oh. Their power projection is a bit higher. <sighs> okay, so we're going to convoy here. We got a convoy here. Uh, <laughs> they're going to win that. <laughs> they're going to win that against the Rodney. And over here we got the Koenig against... Ah, uh, you know what? We'll just kick out two more cruisers. It's fine. It's the Koenig. She's performing extremely well with her standard um, not long-gated 16 inches. And I am really growing quite fond of this ship too because she's just a steady performer. Just, you know that this ship works. You know that she pulls through. She has the tools to deal with most threats. The only threat that she might not be able to deal with is a super battleship. But, well. What I've been seeing so far from the British, I doubt they have super battleships. I also kind of doubt I'll be able to catch these guys. How far away are you? Don't say 70 clicks. Ah, 27 it again. 22. Ah, hello. There you are. Hello. High explosive. We're going bow in. These guys I can probably charge down. Sea state. Pretty good. Let's charge them down. Koenig. Let's go. Stop. Carry on. Missed. Now, between these two, I think the light cruiser is more of a threat. Because these heavy cruisers of theirs have 8.1 inch guns. Uh, they do have some torpedo launchers. It's just not terribly impressive. The only real way that this heavy cruiser can hurt me is if it starts to spam a lot of high explosive. And I'm not able to put out those fires in time. That's really the only thing I see happening here. But it's the CL that has me concerned. Because these generally pack a lot more torpedoes, although this is a different class that does not. Okay. Slow down. Make it about half speed. Make the ship maneuverable. Why are we shooting up the light cruiser? Shoot the heavy secondaries on the CL, please. This angle... Oh! Well, that's uncomfortable. You just lost a torpedo. And you just launched the torpedo. I heard the sound. Turn. Expect inbounds. Go to HE, sorry, from HE to AP shells. What are you doing? Yeah, that's nice. Good try. Would have worked if I didn't change course. Destroyed a secondary? Which what? You blew up a four inch guard. 
Things are so impossible to armor. Hello. Nice hole in your hull over there. Koenig, continue to turn. Ooh, close. Three engines are down. Stop leading them so much. 50% chance to hit. Go. Dauntless. Hasn't launched a single torpedo. Partial. Over. Boom. That's more like it. Don't let's just push their torpedoes out. If I'm going to be continuing my course, I would have definitely been hit. But I am not. And that means that this CL is fucked. There is one way that they can really mess up my day, and that's if they turn. Which would mean that I'm going to be facing another salvo of torpedoes just like this. Which would be bad. Port side guns engaging Dauntless, bow guns engaging the Emeralds. Boom! 2.5k damage. Flooding, fire, parcel pen. I think the aft of the ship is mostly missing now. I think it's taking some damage. I think we're going to have to do some fixing on our maybe two months in port, if that. But hey, she just is going to cost the British another 140 million? Yeah. Turn. Somebody just tossed torps at you. And the Emerald did too. Dick move. There you go. Increase the flank. <sighs> okay, that was close. Kill him. That's more like it. What you got? Maximum bulkheads. Yeah, otherwise they would have been dead ten minutes ago. Good day. Ricochet? Huh. You got layered armor. You do. First inner belt, four inches of armor. That's pretty impressive. Turn. Emerald is down. Alright, Dauntless. You're not going to be that Dauntless. And I have some really potentially extremely deadly heavy explosives coming your way. This high explosive against almost no armor equals death. Whew. Close. Are you done spitting torpedoes yet? You're not. You got an increased complement of torps. Yeah. Boom. That's more like it. That was the 16 with 1400 and sorry, 4844 damage. And that was extremely inaccurate. Do you want to flood now or later? Dauntless. I think you're quite daunted at this point. sake. Dead. Done. So that was fun. Come again. It's another two British ships down. I need to up my power projection. I really don't like the British having this much power projection out here. It's too much. It's too much. Where's my fleet? They're all out here, chilling. No. Move. Places to be. Ships to see. Kiel. What the fuck, Kiel? With the exception of the Margraf, none of you have an excuse to be here. Oh. What? Okay. We found the British fleet. They're parked right off Kiel. Hmm. So that's going to make my life a little more interesting. Am I still building those heavies? Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. We've got a lot of battle cruisers coming out in the next two months. That's perfect. You. I want a couple of... Nah. The Mecklenburg can intercept that. That'll be fine. What the fuck is this British group doing here? That's not me. Somebody else. 
Ah, look at that. We got all the battle cruisers ready, including the Württemberg, which is one of those new, extremely odd builds. Um, go make yourselves useful. You and you. And then... I was refitting ships. <clears throat> I just don't know how long that's going to take. Or if they've been three months. That's the Sea Adler repairing. No refits? No. Okay. 70,000 victory points versus 8k. Cute. Okay, well, next time we're going to be doing a couple of convoys. That means I am attacking the enemy convoys. And this should be interesting. Taking down a single transport, which is protected by nothing short of a battleship. Oh, sorry, battle cruiser. The Superb, which I believe has very little armor. So join me next time as we're going to be doing a bit more British bludgeoning. Thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you soon.